welcome me to Split the Tenor. Split the Tenor here uh, trying to be up all the time. Uh, create a lot of content. Well, all flights up the stairs just in some content. All of it. Hey, dude. <laughs> you build a brand, it stands for something, it means something, it's all its work. You go find a good ambassador for it that has a yeah. megaphone that is usually a celebrity. Yeah. You inform them on what you're even doing and then you partner and do something. He's not it. admitting it. That's fine, of course. So they're obviously doing, the ringer is the one that released the information. Um, so the information is that he has fake Twitter accounts. Burner accounts. Where he hates on his own players? Players, his own staff. Star Wars bombed this franchise. What are the numbers? So. 250 to make. I mean, I haven't seen Star Wars since the 80s, so I'm a bad judge. Yeah. I mean, I don't really care what they're doing, what, who they're fighting, Chewbacca, I don't know. I don't I mean, how many different times can you rewrite that? Yeah, movie? exactly. Yeah. I also think they were banking on Childish Gambino being a much bigger star. Keep subscribing, keep watching. We'll be back next week. This is Joe America. This is America. So we're saying which way is fast. I don't know, walking fast. Big stuff, me neither. I bounce out on Just walking downstairs to see which way is faster. <laughs> <laughs> and then three. <laughs> so that was a little behind the scenes of Drama and I's weekly podcast called Group Chat. Uh, we started in the fall and it's actually become fairly popular. And it really came from Drama and I and my brother sitting in my office and just talking about everything from popular culture stuff, music, rap, um, politics, to all like the interesting fundraising. And you know, there's so much going on in the world and I think it's important when you're an entrepreneur or you know, looking to start something to be fully aware of everything that's going on in the world around you. Um, I always say I'm a jack of all trades, master of none. And I think when it comes to information, you should at least have a surface level understanding of what's going on in the world um, because I think it'll help you, whether it be in your personal life or your business life. And, you know, to, to kind of go off of the success we've had with the podcast, I actually launched a Facebook group also. So shout out to my Facebook group. You guys are amazing. Um, it's a private group on Facebook, just my name. And the whole idea is people ask me where I get all this information from or, you know, topics I talk about. And it really comes from my just general curiosity to read anything I find to be interesting. So a lot of different websites I find stuff like Bloomberg and TechCrunch and Recode and Billboard and Hits Daily Double and whatever it is, all the world star hip hop, it could be anything. But you know, I'm just generally a curious person. So I started posting all the articles I read there. And now it's actually been this amazing community of people that actually help each other out. Um, people have had business relationships formed from it. So one person was looking for an attorney, an entrepreneur, and she found her lawyer there. Um, we've done meetups and even we had really deep discussions on mental health and politics and of course the push to take push a tea, Drake beef. So it's just a little bit of everything and I think that's how people are these days. They're really well rounded. So check out my Facebook group. It's just my name, Dee Murthy, and check out the podcast. It's actually pretty entertaining. Um, if you like everything, pop culture, a little bit of business, a little bit of fun, and a little bit of unrealistic predictions I like to make on life. So thank you. Don't you grow up in a hurry. Your mama be worried. Oh, it was a part of the story. Even the scary night, thank you for all of the glory. You will be remembered all. All right, we're heading to Venice and Santa Monica today to do a photo shoot, not with models, but with me. Um, I don't think I'm a model. I know I'm not good looking enough to be in any ads for any companies, including mine. But I do think it's important to show our product on all types of different people, different body types, different ages, 
different interests just to show the diversity of clothes. And we always do our shoots with the models anyways, but I, I decided like, I'm wear, I wear all this product anyways. I love it, I believe in it, and might as well show how I would wear it if I would go out on the weekend or the you know, weeknight, weekday, work, whatever it is. So we're going out to Venice. It's a little cloudy right now, so I hope it burns out because I'm all about that summer lifestyle. But we'll see how it looks and uh, look out for the photo shoot. It'll be on my Instagram because that's where you put photo shoots. And it's awesome to have really great pics of yourself because you just look cooler when professionals shoot it. And so people always ask me, who shoots all those pictures? Now you know. Yeah, like maybe I'd wear that. <laughs> <laughs> Could be funny. A rapper would wear this, right? A rapper? <laughs> Cool, amazing. All right, next one. Time is extremely valuable, and I prefer to waste it on girls is basic. That's just some yay shit. Right now, let's do what we want. Let's have a threesome, you're doing the blunt. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Someday. 